C. It's usually the first note that you learn at piano lessons. And we assume it's called middle C because it's at the middle of the piano. Let's take a closer look and see what we can find out about middle C. Hello and welcome. Thanks for tuning in. CJ here. We're going to take a closer look today at middle C. It's usually the first note that you learn when you go to piano lessons. You're shown how to play it with your right hand and you're shown how to play it with your left hand. And there's middle C, middle of the piano. Or is it? Dun, dun, dun. Let's find out. It starts on the end and work all the way to the middle. And no, it is not. C is not the middle. We end up on E and F. Middle E and middle F? Never heard of it. I'm used to hearing middle C. So let's try again. This time let's use all of the notes. First time I only used naturals. This time I'm going to use all of the notes. with the same result, still E and F, still not middle C. So what are we missing? What are we not seeing about the piano keyboard that would, would not land on middle C? Well, actually, maybe it's because middle C doesn't have much to do with the piano keyboard itself. It actually has to do more with music notation. And music notation predates the piano by about 700 years. The piano was invented around 1700 by Bartolomeo Cristofori. But music notation was invented in the year 1000 by Guido Terezzo, who was looking for a way to help monks memorize Gregorian chants. So what he did was he came up with a system of lines and spaces, and he put notes on those lines and spaces to show pitch, relative pitch to each other. And that system has been developed over the past thousand years into modern music notation. Now, as far as middle C is concerned, piano music is written on the grand staff. The grand staff is made up of the bass clef and the treble clef, two independent clefs put together to form the grand staff there joined by a brace. Now each one of these staffs, both treble and bass, have five lines and four spaces. When you put these two together, you end up with a total of 10 lines. Or do you? Actually, there's at least one more line that's invisible. And it's right in the middle of the grand staff. And you can only see it when you put a note on it. And when you put a note on it, it looks like this. And the name of that note, you guessed it, middle C. Ta-da! So now you know where middle C comes from. It has nothing to do with the piano at all. It actually is just from music notation, from sheet music. So. Sheet music's been around a thousand years, driving everybody absolutely nuts. Drives me nuts sometimes. And so if you're having an issue with it, don't feel bad. It's been driving people nuts for a millennia. Now, just like everything else on the internet, there are debates and disagreements about every possible subject and music notation and music history is no different. I've put some links down below if you want to find out more information about it. And you could also just let me know how you felt about this video, whether you liked it or not. Let me know in the comments. You could actually click on like and share if you enjoyed this video. And I hope you did. And until next time, take care, keep playing, bless. See you soon.